So it's uh, basically 10 o'clock at night, 9.57 on um, the 14th of Feb 2022. And I've um, just finished watching that new show that's on after maths, uh, La Brown, I think it's called. The one with the big hole in Los Angeles that was filmed in Melbourne. Um, anyway, I'm making a quick video because I just had this thought go through my head. And it's one of those thoughts that you know you have to like document immediately or you'll forget it. So, obviously I've mentioned it and I'm not going to try to make me think too much right now before I lose the thought. But basically I was lying down thinking I really need to go to sleep. Um, I take melatonin. Let's yeah, this stuff to help me sleep at night, right? Um, but then I need to take medication to help me stay awake during the day. And I really feel like I'm just meant to be a night person. I also really think I need to get rid of my TV. Like the whole thing started with I needed no TVs. Because even though I've now been told I've got ADHD, it doesn't stop me from being able to binge TV because I self-sabotage, obviously not on purpose, but I have my issues. That's apparent. I talk about it all the fucking time. Got it to my mother. It's the only way I know how to like base my life. And it's like, no, mom, it's not that I think I'm just my illnesses. It's just that they all really affect me. Anyway, I have to succeed at this. I have to, like, I truly know that I feel like I will, but I want to stay at the uni I'm at. I don't want to have to change unis, at least for the, my next degree, right? So the thought that I had was I would be so much better off if I just got rid of the TV, got rid of the clocks, stop using alarms, stop basing anything on a linear time frame like based in I guess reality so to speak because unless I have an appointment to be somewhere and I can sit there as a, on my phone um, or even I don't even need to do that like no electronics except for these videos easy it's just like write it down and you know what I mean I mean yeah let me make think make help make my brain work um I have actually got way more energy than it would definitely be looking like in this video. But that is because I've vaped all evening, right? Um, I don't even feel like I vaped enough to actually knock me out, hence these things. But yeah, I don't know. I can't help but think that there's, there's some more changes coming. It's like I was telling my friend today who I haven't spoken to in ages and it's like one of those friends that they just pop back into your life and it's like ah oh, there you are it's like it was just yesterday and I was explaining to her how like I was a meat eater through and through like oh my god bacon was my favorite food I ate medium rare steak and king prawns I loved it and I was one of the worst ones veal didn't care kjx didn't care whatever I am good the other part of me was the exact opposite right anyway I'm vegan now I would like to be vegan or I would like to be over vegetarian because I want to eat eggs but I need my own chickens to do that anyway the point is I can tell that I'm now at a point where I'm literally just justifying shit to myself and once I get to the point where I'm like super fucking aware of that it's like oh fuck with now you got to do something about it. Um, and I'm at that point. This is going to sound absolutely ridiculous. But I'm not even willing to think about getting rid of the TV. Until I look and see when maths is finished. And that's simply because it's not even that I'm addicted to that show. I It's the one not... Well, I watch those two shows in a row now. But um, it's entertaining. But it's not even just that it's entertaining. There's a live discussion on Reddit every evening and like there are hundreds of us talking all around the world not just here but other people like chiming in from all different countries <clears throat> excuse me so yeah i really enjoy that um but i really fucking want to understand and to do that i need to study and 
I know I need structure and you know it's I was thinking about it today I'm really good at giving up shit I gave up ice today's 21 days without a cigarette I you know I spent the entire 2018 completely sober no drugs no smokes no uh, what is it drugs smokes alcohol nothing nothing at all right the full 365 days if I set my mind to do something that involves cutting something out of my life it's a lot easier i found than trying to put something into my life like the gym for example i don't ever think i'm gonna be one of those people who yay wants to go to the gym because i'm i'm not um i like getting healthy and exercise but i absolutely need a gym buddy to even think about it but yeah point being i am gonna go to sleep because i have been awake all day plan on getting up early to, earlier tomorrow because I'm absolutely positive I will get the COVID negative result pretty fast because I honestly am curious if my like brain psychologically made me feel worse to get it to put my mind at ease before my appointments at the end of the week um, because since coming home I feel a lot better um, though I yeah it would be good to get the um, results soon because my neighbor offered to come and look at my fridge for me and since i don't know the fuck i'm doing with it um i might take him up on that um i also asked him since he likes mowing so freaking much if he wants to take over from my gardener and mow mine so yeah he said he'd be more than happy to and i told him how much i pay and i was like if you want to do it you live next door as long you know it'd be this or work at another rate and um yeah so who knows? Win-win, maybe. Um, anyway, I have smoked enough weed, I think, to go to sleep. But well, at least for me, I need to shut down. My body's like, shut up, Olivia. Stop talking. So that's what I'm going to do. Night, people.